The following video is an audio drama based on the MLP fanfic Life's a Breeze by Snoopy77. The events of Life's a Breeze was written before the season 9 premiere and any continuity errors should be accepted as an alternate universe. Enjoy the show! Previously on Life's a Breeze. Wait, is it true you're getting a bodyguard? Well, um, sorta. Of. Light! Dad! Mom! Hey, big and ugly! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? You saved them. I couldn't just stand there and do nothing. Ladies and gentle cults, creatures of all types, I give you our newest addition to the royal crew, Princess Light Breeze's personal royal squire. Promise me you'll give this a chance. I will. Go ahead! I'd like to see you try and control me, the princess! A princess with a squire! Say what you please. I don't care if I'm stuck with you for the rest of my life. We'll never be friends. That's fine by me. Fine! 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 fine. That actually is the truth. Now, how, how am, am I, I supposed to get the king's trust when his daughter wants nothing to do with me? Come in. You are to report downstairs at the entrance of the castle. The princess wishes to give you a tour today, Squire Mythic. Of course. I'll be down soon. Squire Mythic. Has a nice ring to it. <sighs> That's gotta be the best night's sleep I've ever had. I guess I ought to make myself look more presentable. The way she treated me yesterday, I should just go out there looking like I crawled out of bed. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? It's just a tour. Not like I'm trying to impress anyone. Yeah, right. Gotta focus on the plan ahead. That's way more important than Prince's Light Breeze. Just time to go eat. But I'm not hungry. <gasps> In comes the airplane. I can take care of myself. Where am I? You should know me better, young Breezy. The Dream Realm summons you when you want to. Aunt Luna! What do you mean only those get summoned to the Dream Realm when they want to? Exactly what I said. 
light, I know you only see the bad in your new squire. But you need to see past what you believe. Uh, seriously? Aunt Luna too? What next? Aurora will be saying having a squire isn't that bad? I see the doubt in your eyes, child. But if you don't try something, how do you know if it's bad? Well... Um... Try to look at the good. Who knows what the two of you will accomplish together. Accomplish? Uh, accomplish what? He's gonna be watching me do all the work. Aunt Luna? Aunt Luna? Aunt Luna? Am I still dreaming? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Enter. Morning, Dad. Morning, Breezy. Are you ready? For what? The tour of the castle? For Mythic? <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> of course! You didn't forget, did you? What? No, of course not! <laughs> Well then, I'll meet you down at the entrance of the castle to set the both of you on your way. See you down there. <sighs> I guess I'd better go get ready to show Squire Mythic around the castle. Hmm. Better get this done and over with. Maybe it won't be so bad. Uh, yeah, right. This is your fault. What an Equestria am I doing? It's not that big a deal. I'm not trying to impress any pony or anything. He's just some squire. Mm. You're annoying. <sighs> okay, Aunt Luna. I'll try and see the good in this. Try not to stare too long at the sun, eh, Sombra? Hmm. I'm, I'm here. here! Before I let you show Mythic around, Light, there are some rules I need to lay down for the both of you. You are not to get into any trouble. Got it? Got, Got it! Well then, I'll leave the rest up to you, Light. Ad. <clears throat> so, today, I will be giving you a tour of the castle, to know where things are and stuff. Let's get started. Are you coming or what? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm coming.
And if you could see from here, this is the library. You could find just about anything in here about magic, spells, and history. So, uh, Mythic, before you came here, where did you used to live? <sighs> Not around here. It's complicated. Oh, sorry. What is this place? This is the stained glass hallway. These stained glass windows record some of Equestria's greatest moments in history. Like that one. This is the time my mother and aunt stopped Discord when he was causing chaos. <laughs> Who would have thought he would return only to reform and even fall for a shy yellow pegasus? You mean that yellow pegasus? Yep, the element of kindness. One of the six elements of harmony. It's funny. I'm always told about their story and how strong their love for each other is. Some say as strong as Cadence and Shining Armor. Well, what about the others? The purple unicorn is young Queen Twilight, before she got her alicorn wings. The others are Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Applejack. Wow, Queen Twilight looks so young. What I mean to say is she still is very young. She's just a lot older now, and I'm thinking that maybe I should stop talking now. <laughs> Come on, Mythic. Let's uh take a little pause right here. My hooves are killing me. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. Mythic Light, I, I... Oh, oh, you first. first. No, no, you! you. Stop, Stop it! it. Uh, Sorry. You go first. It's okay. You go. I can wait. <laughs> hmm? ah! <gasps> Hold on! I'm coming! Ah! Uh. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Need a hook? Yeah. Thanks. That must have been a secret passage leading to the outside. How cool is that? Very cool. Actually, when I was young, Aurora and I discovered that. More so Aurora. Anyways, that was our first time outside all by ourselves. I think the first time I went out on my own was when I was a foal. I could barely remember anything. I think I was playing on a moving snow pile or something. <laughs> hmm? Oh, lunchtime. Where are you going? To go get some lunch in the kitchen. Well, why don't we just go somewhere in Canterlot? I hear of a really good spice food place. Well, can't pass off an offer to go out of the castle. Let's go! Hmm. Seems that the Squires thing is gonna work after all. Yeah. Something wrong? No, I just find the lad very interesting. Now, come on, we have a meeting to go to. These are the best churls I've ever tasted! I've got to get the recipe so the cooks can learn how to make it back at home. So delicious. I have experienced a whole new world of food. You have tried churls before, right? Never! And now they are my new favorite desserts. You're really not from around here, are you? Nope. And Canterlot was just so beautiful. I can't believe we were able to meet the element of generosity. Hey, Light. What's wrong? I thought we had fun today. No? I do believe I owe you an apology. <sighs> no. I'm the one who's sorry. No. I was wrong to treat you so rudely. It was wrong to judge you before I even got to know you. At least, the second time around. 
I was selfish to keep things the way they were, and didn't want to try something that would benefit me. Mythic, I'm sorry for treating you rudely because I didn't want a squire. I made a promise, and I have to see to it. Promise? Mythic? Kneel down. Huh? Would you just do it? I hereby decree that you, Mythic Hope, shall henceforth be my personal squire. As my official squire, you are to be by my side in times of joy and in times of chaos. With this cape, I give to you a gift to symbolize our newfound friendship. Do you accept? I do. Whoa! This is amazing! I picked out the designs while we were at Rarity's Boutique, and I had them send it here before we got back. I was also sure to get matching shoes. This is... <sighs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Please, call me Light. Of course, Light. Well, I ought to get some rest. Two days of no lessons means a whole lot of catching up to do. See you tomorrow, Princess Light. See you tomorrow, Squire Mythic. Ah, <sighs> perfect fit. This actually makes me look like some type of royalty. What the? Mother, how are you doing this? Don't worry about that. All you need to know is that you can speak with me through this mirror at any given time to give me any information. Ah, my, my! One day in and they have you all tailored up looking like a fine young prince. The fools are so gullible. Well, actually... Everything is going according to plan. Now we wait for the time to come. But mother... All right, my little prince. I have to get back to work, too. Gotta keep preparing for our day to rise. Mommy gives you kisses. Wait, Mother, I, I wanted to tell you I love... <sighs> I love you, Mother. Good night. Yes? So, how did it go today? It was fine. It actually went pretty well. Was he like? Is he mean? Is he bossy? Is he boring? Is he nice? Whoa there, Aurora, slow down. It's been a long day, and I'm ready to go to bed. Besides, what about you? I didn't get a chance to meet your squire. Your name is Melissa Pie Briar. She's the daughter of Maud and Mud Briar. Her aunt is Pinkie Pie. Melissa Briar? I know her. Wait, they picked her? Not to be rude, but isn't she... Funny and smart. She may be much older than me, but she understands me. She likes the night too, and doesn't even have to say a word. <laughs> well, it looks like you got yourself a new friend. She's my best friend, or, well, she will be. Nightbed Mythic will be your best friend too. I don't know about best friends. We barely even know each other. But I'm willing to be friends. Ooh. I gotta go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Light. Huh. huh. Friends. friends. So, in preparations of the upcoming events are as follows. The ceremony of the Two Sisters Sunrise Celebration is scheduled for this Friday. And the Falling Stars, the Crystal Empire Festival, is set to be two months before the gala. Wait a second, aren't we forgetting another important item before the gala? Another very special, important day? Ah, yes! Almost skipped over that. Princess Light Breeze's 17th birthday will be airing before the gala. Airing? <laughs> what is this, some kind of TV show? 
Light, be nice. He's been here for many, many years. Thank you, Sven. Now, for this week's main event, we need to be sure the grand ceremony is ready to initiate. Speaking of this week's ceremony, Light, I am putting you in charge of decorating duties. Aurora, I want you also to help partake in a celebratory section for the celebration. You can count on us. Yeah, we can come up with something together. I'll write my ideas down tonight. So, uh, Melissa, how's it going? Decord. Da what? Decord. It's French for okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, cool. So, what's it like to aid the daughter of the majestic son? Um, it's okay so far. It was a little rough at the start, but it's okay now, I guess. Melissa! Aurora, I am overwhelmed with joy to see you. Come on, you can help me plan out a few ideas for the ceremony on Friday. Come on, Mythic, we've got work to do. Right behind you. So, why are we over here in Ponyville? To find decorations? Because this has got to be the best! And I know just the pony for the job. <laughs> nice funny place they have here. Yeah, and over there is Queen Twilight's castle. Wait, really? Wow! So, what exactly is the meaning behind the Ceremony of the Two Sisters Sunrise Celebration? Each year, ponies from all over Equestria come to see the two sisters do the rising and setting of the sun and moon. It's a celebration in honor of Queen Luna and Celestia. I still can't believe Queen Celestia and Luna are able to even do that. That's insane! Yeah, after their years of experience, it's a breeze. You think it's hard? What's hard? Raising something as big as the sun! I mean, that's gotta take a bunch of energy. You'd have to have a lot of power to do something like that. It does. Have you ever even tried raising the sun by yourself? Discord? This had better not be you again! Mom? What is it, sweetie? Um... Don't be mad, but it's not Discord's fault. I did this. All by yourself? It's okay. <sighs> Light? 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 Earth to light? Light? Hello? I... well... not by myself yet. <laughs> like you said, it takes a lot of power. Look! Over there! It's her! Princess Light Breeze! Oh no. Great Celestia, it's her! She's really here? I want to see her! Wow, it's really her! I'm your biggest fan! <laughs> it's the princess! Oh my god! <laughs> Keep you cool, man! <laughs> Keep you cool! Uh-oh. She's beautiful. It's her. Who's that stallion with her? Princess Lightbreeze. It's her. Princess Lightbreeze. Light, what do we do? We still gotta get those items on the list. Um. Run! <laughs> you would think they've never seen a princess before, let alone an alicorn. 
Yeah, right. Ponies think if they say they've seen or even friends with the princess that they'll be popular or something. <gasps> Quick! They're getting on us! Mythic, could you levitate? Yeah. Good. Try and keep up. Look, she's over there! Please notice me, princess! Take a picture with me. You're awesome! I'm sorry. I'm kind of on royal duty. Crazy, look out! Close one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame them. I don't visit often. What's going on? Gah! I don't know. Do you smell cake? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Are the paper bags really necessary? Of course. I mean, it adds a little spice, don't you think? So, we're not being kidnapped? No, this is just the Pie Twins' way of greeting us. Mythic, this is Pumpkin, and Cinnamon. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. I'm Mythic Hope, royal squire to the princess. Star titles about how you say princess life from the temple wall. Aren't you scared? Well, uh... Well, royal squire, you look like a regular pony. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> Are they always this enthusiastic? <laughs> Cinnamon, pumpkin, what if we told you about tackling the customers? Only, Only with, with adult, adult supervision, supervision or, a or a special, special occasion. occasion. Mrs. Cheese Pie, Princess Light Breeze, an honor having you here. Well, the princess and I were just here to see if you can cater for about 100 to 200 cupcakes. Do you think you can do that? <laughs> of course I can't! I'll have it down in two days! And, and we, we can, can help. help! That'll be perfect! The ceremony of the Two Sisters Sunrise Celebration is in two days. Thanks a bunch, Mrs. Cheese Pie. Anytime! What? Um, did you forget what's waiting outside? Notice me, princess! <laughs> Take my money, princess! Maybe it's best if we just lay low here for a while. Agreed. Yay! Wow, these balloons look great! Thanks! Melissa helped me pick them out! Sweet! going to stand here, or are you going to come over and listen? What are you doing in there? It's broad day! Or, I mean, moonlight! Someone could see you! Don't worry about me. Worry about the task at hand. But we don't have a- Hush up! I wouldn't be calling outside your mirror if it weren't important. I've been reading your letters to me for the past month, and based on your last letter, I need you to get me some hair samples. Hair samples? But why do you even need- Boy, don't question me and just do as I say! I need Celestia and Luna's mane. Do not disappoint me. Do not disappoint me. Uh, Mythic? Would you quit staring at the punch bowl and get over here?
Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. This will be the best celebration ever! I am so full of excitement. I can hardly contain it. Ponies are starting to arrive. We best go get ready. Hey, what's eating at you? Hmm? Oh, uh, I, I guess I'm kind of nervous. Is it because it's your first time representing at a royal event? Yeah, totally. Don't worry, you'll do great. I know it. Ow. You okay? Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, sorry, Princess. I, I mean, Queen Luna. I wasn't really watching where I was going, and I just, uh. <laughs> Squire Mythic, it's quite alright. Queen Luna, please forgive me for knocking off your crown. You don't need to be all formal, Mythic. You are in no trouble. I know that, but I really am sorry. Tis no trouble, Mythic. After all, I trust your words that you are indeed sorry. Now off you go to get ready. See you there, Aunt Luna. Be out in 15. Yep. One down, one to go. <sighs> All right, Myth, you got this. You're gonna love it. Yeah, I I've never been to something like this before. Hush now. Uh, don't pay any attention to him. Dad's just being, well, dad. Yeah. Citizens of Equestria. It is with great honor to have you all here on this day. Today, we celebrate our heroes of this land, who help end the reign of chaos. Hey, if I knew that ponies didn't like chocolate for rain, I would have changed it to strawberry! <laughs> <laughs> Though times of hardship to most joyful of occasions, we are here today to celebrate them and all that they have done and will do for the good of Equestria. It is with great joy to raise the sun beside my sister Luna. And it is an honor to ask your future rulers, Princess Light Breeze and Princess Aurora Slumber, to join us as we raise the sun and moon together. Go on and stand next to your mother. You too, Aurora. You'll be fine. You've gotten so much better. Trust yourself. Okay, let's do this.
Hey, hey, hey! It's okay, Breezy. No one seemed to notice. You did good. We just did that! That was great, Light! And Aurora, you were just as amazing as Light here. Thanks, Frosty. Is this the changeling you've been telling me so much about? Melissa! Oh, sorry. Here, why don't you introduce us to take the attention off you? Great idea! Have you guys met my squire, Melissa Breyer? She's pretty cool. Um, nice to meet you. You have a built-in Pearl Aurora type feature. <laughs> She's very descriptive. So, where's your squire, Light? Oh, he's coming. Guys, meet Squire Mythicope. Hello there. A pleasure to finally meet the squire who stopped the Timber Wolf. You must be quite special. Yeah. Special. Let me help you, Bart. Where did you learn that from? Well, you learn a thing or two from being around for a few centuries. Isn't it hard, watching ponies grow and drift away from you? I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I even... Well, young one, you're going to come to know a lot of ponies. Some young, some old, some ponies, some other creatures. Sometimes they'll be with you for only a short time, and others for as long as time goes. But when they're gone, it's not best to sulk. Instead, be full of joy with memories you were able to create with them. Whoa. You remind me of my daughter. Oh my, so much hair. It doesn't help when it's flowing everywhere, but what can I say? Here, let me help. Thank you, Mythic. Tis no, no trouble, trouble Mythic. Mythic. After, After all, all, I trust, I trust your words that you are indeed sorry. sorry. You remind, remind me of my daughter. daughter. Thank, Thank you, you Mythic. Mythic. It doesn't matter. matter. After, After all, all, you don't want, want to disappoint, disappoint your, your poor old mummy, mummy, do you? Do not, do not disappoint me. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Do you think any pony noticed? Please, today was so busy. I bet they probably haven't even noticed we were gone that long. You know what? You look amazing today. Um, did, 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 did anyone tell you that? <laughs> Do you know what time it is? We sort of lost track of that. F forgive me, your highness. I should have been more persistent in getting us back in before the sun was down. Indeed. C 
Come on, Dad. I was with Mythic. My squire? You can't be mad at something you made law. <sighs> well, you should be getting some rest, little lady. Tomorrow, you, your mother, Luna, and Aurora are all off to meet with Queen Twilight to meet with Star to discuss princess things. Oh, right! Now, off you go. Sleep tight. Love you, Breezy. Love you too, Dad. You know, Light, I get the feeling that your dad doesn't really like me that much. Ah, uh, that's just him being an old cranky doodle. I mean, if he didn't like you, then you wouldn't be my squire, right? I guess... Wait, so what is this thing you're doing tomorrow? Oh yeah. Every year Queen Twilight calls me and Aurora to come over and do some friendship activities with her daughter. Nothing too fancy. Will I get to accompany you? No, it's a princess-only event. So what will I be doing tomorrow? Um, if I can remember, I think it will be with Melissa tomorrow to do some training. Oh, Melissa! I've chatted with her a few times. I can see why Aurora loves her so much. She's a pretty cool pony. I don't know. She's kind of hard to read sometimes. I'm sure the two of you will find something to chat about. It'll be okay, you'll see. <sighs> Night. <sighs> Night. Ugh. Yes, Mom. Oh, is my baby tired from undercover evil work? Well, you'd better keep it together. Mom, keep it down. Someone could hear you. Excuse me? Uh, <clears throat> what I mean to say is, uh, what can I do for you? Well, as you can see, your dear old mum has been trying some new spells. Tomorrow, I need you to slip back here and pick up some stuff to take back to your place. Can't I just teleport them here? Or... Maybe you can? No. You need to come here and retrieve them. Besides, I'm sure no one's going to notice you're gone. But I gotta go- Go to what? Go visit my mother. Great. I will see you then, my boy. <sighs> yeah. Love you too. Whatever happened? Why can't things be the way they used to be? <sighs> I'm gonna get you this time! <laughs> oh, you got me! <laughs> I did like you told me, Mommy. I caught your tail! <laughs> well, yes, but also no. See, remember I told you to attack my tail with your magic. But I don't want to hurt you. Oh, Mythic. When will you learn that you have powerful magic? Do I really? Indeed you do. Better than that two-timing no-good heartbreaker. Never mind. It's time to go back home. Ah, but mommy, we were having fun. I do not tolerate backtalk, mister. <laughs> and you will call me mother, not mommy. How'd you do that? King Sombra has asked for us to report in the mirror hallway. Okay... I'll be there in a jiff. So as you know, today the princesses have gone off today with Queen Twilight. 
Since you are not looking after the care of the princesses, you two will spend the day working together. It will be good to exchange your experiences with being a squire as well as working with the princesses. This is your chance to know each other better. Not a goofing off session. Does Melissa even laugh? You are dismissed. Well, uh, Melissa, what do you want to do first? If it's okay with you, I would like to visit my parents. I got a letter saying they're in Ponyville. Oh. Well then, I guess you could go do that while I just go, uh, I don't know, practice my magic? King Sombra wants us to work together and probably learn a few life lessons along the way. <sighs> All right. Lead the way, then. Ah, uh, not, not again. again. You're back! And you brought Melissa! <laughs> Squire Mythic, I didn't expect to see you here. Well, the princesses are out for the day, and the king has asked us to spend the day together. So it's like a squire's day, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I guess it is. So, is Melissa your daughter? Oh no, Melissa's my niece! <laughs> Look at you! I'm so proud of you! And so is your mom! Yes, I am very proud of my little one. Mother and father, I'm so happy to see you. Melissa, it is so good to see you after all this time. Wait, wait, wait. How are you all related? Psh, that's easy! Bot here is my big sister. Can't you tell? Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. We brought you a little something. It's a birch branch. I love it. Thank you. I would love to stay and chat, but Mythic and I have to go attend some business. We do? Alright. But visit again soon. What is she up to? So, this is the business that we had to take care of? I thought it would give us a chance to discuss our progress as squires. Excuse me for just one moment. You have got to go to your mother. But I can't just leave her here. That would be rude. <sighs> okay. I'll just quickly go and then come back. I'm, I'm coming, coming, mother. mother. <sighs> Still sweet. What are you doing smelling the flowers? It's past noon. I expected you to be here at sunrise. Forgive me, Mother. King Sombra had ordered me to spend the day with another squire, and the princesses are gone for the day. Typical Sombra. Come along. There's much to discuss. Mythic, it seems as if the process is going a little too slow. What it seems like from your letters is the princess only sees you as nothing more than a squire. So to speed things along, I have something for you to give to her. What is it? It's a potion. Whenever you get the chance, have her drink it. What will it do to her? It'll speed things up to get her closer to you, to trust you more. So, uh, how are you doing? Excellent. The plan is going well, and Sombra won't see what's coming for him. That's not what I meant. How about we do some magic exercises? Before I go? Such as what? 
Maybe we can do the magic toss, where each time we toss the ball, it turns into something else. You mean child's play? There's no need for it. I just wanted to spend time with you, like we used to. Mythic, quit that mumbling. There is far too much work to be done. Don't you worry, Mythy. As soon as we take control, you and I can spend the whole day together. Won't that be great? Yeah, great. Oh, Mythic, one more thing. Yes? Be sure that after she drinks it, she looks at you. Otherwise, it will be pointless. <sighs> okay, Mother. You left your food. Don't worry. I brought it for you. I saw you leave the restaurant. If you wanted to see your mother, all you had to do was tell me. Uh, look, about that. I was, uh, just telling her about my plan to become the best squire ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it was, yeah. You don't have to lie to me. How did you find out? I walked into your room and overheard the maniacal laugh. I told her she was being too loud. So, does a baby bird fly with its mother all its life? What? What did that have to do with anything? Does a baby bird live with its mother all its life? Well, no. Uh, eventually it flies out of its nest. And soon the baby bird starts making its own decisions. Yes? So then why do you allow your mother to make your decisions for you? I didn't think about that. Please, I can't leave this position. I have to finish the plan and help my mother with- I'm not going to tell. Your what? I won't tell. But why? Because I know that in due time, You'll change your mind. What do you mean? That is to figure out on your own. I can see the troubles in you and also see the goodness trying to come out of you. <laughs> you really are the greatest squire there is. I just wish I could be the same. What? I think Princess Light would argue with that. Light? <laughs> well, I guess, but... That's just because she's my friend. That's what I said about Branch. Branch? You mean you're a stone? Or is it a stick? Nope. Branch Carver is my boyfriend. What are you implying? Nothing. Was that sarcasm? No. Are you sure? Nope. You'll find out when you're ready. Now come on. The princesses will be back soon, and we need to be there to greet them. You're right. Let's go. Melissa! Aurora, it's good to have you back. Hey, Mythic. So, how was it today with Melissa? Actually, it was pretty good. I see why Aurora likes her so much. See? I told you it'd be okay. See? I told you it'd be okay. Has its ways, and 
window that will have our own days. The beauty and love that can make us this way. I don't know much, but my life's not as straight. Life's a breeze. When you mean so much to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Life's a breeze. When you mean so much to me, yeah, yeah. Life's a breeze, weak in the knees. It's hot, so cold to sit down and freeze. I couldn't stop the fact that I fall deep in love with all to behold. Before behold, all that I see for wanna make you mine and keep all your with. Oh, from past lovers that got it to spend countless times at our own expense. I know that life has its ways, and I know that we'll have our own days. The beauty and love that can make us this way. I don't know much, but my life's not as straight. Yeah. Life's a breeze when you mean so much to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life's a breeze when you mean so much to me. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay to feel this way? Loving you for all your grace I'll just sit and count my days Next sunshine set a heart to vacate Life's a breeze When you mean so much to me